How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy, welcome to another video. And this one is quite different from what you normally get on the channel. And with everything that's going on in the world right now, I realize that a lot of people are working from home right now. And this is something that I do all the time. I work from home, I'm used to it. Um, at first, when I left my job, um, my usual job, it was quite of a, a bit of a shock to the system to work from home, you get bored. Uh, sometimes there's nothing to do. You don't have to manage your time sometimes because you're used to people telling you where you need to be, what time of meeting is and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so there's a lot of things that you can do. Uh, there's a lot of piece of tech here and there that can make working from home a lot more comfortable. So I've put together a few things that I use on a day-to-day basis uh, to help me get used to the fact that I work from home by myself, it can be lonely for some, and uh, I don't have a pet, for example, and that kind of stuff. But things that just makes it a lot more comfortable for me uh, working from home. And uh, yeah, let's get on with it. So first up is this mug here. So this is a coffee mug or tea, whatever you want to do. And this is from Ember. And uh, you can get this from the Apple store and it's a smart uh, coffee mug and it's quite simple, it's quite easy to use and it works with a phone app as well. And this is the latest version. So this is version two, I had the version one. Uh, so this is version two, so it's got a longer battery life. So this can last more than 80 minutes. Uh, so once you put your hot drink in there, it will keep it nice and warm and hot. If you like, it can change temperature uh, using the phone app. And all that does is make sure that your tea is nice and hot throughout the day. So what I usually do uh, is when I pour my tea or coffee, I drink it quickly because I'm worried about it getting cold and I hate cold coffee or cold tea. And so what, this is what this does for me. And uh, yeah, it's nice and simple. It comes with a charging plate, which I've got here. And all I do when I'm not using it or overnight, is just duck it there and that will charge it up very quickly. And uh, yeah, it's really nice. Makes it easy for me uh, to just get with my day. And I'm a big coffee drinker and recently I've been drinking a lot of tea, uh, different kind of tea, so this is nice. You can set different temperatures, save it as well. Uh, so for example, if you have in a green tea, you can leave it in there so it brews enough, uh, long enough for it to be nice and uh, tasty. Um, yeah, let's go on to the next one. So next one, I recognise that this is, might not be for everyone, especially I'm in the UK, so find something that's similar to where you are in the world. Uh, but this is uh, a Sky, a set-top box from Sky, it's my Sky Box Q, Sky Q box, uh, set-top box. Yeah, we got that in the end. And basically, my Sky Q is basically all about uh, setting it up so I, I know what channels I watch. It's full of a bunch of entertainment uh, options on there, whether I'm watching the news in the background. Sometimes I'm not actually watching it, it's just in the background. So I might have the news running throughout the day so I know what's going on, especially this time of the year with everything that's going on. It's nice to keep up to date with what's going on and what to do and so on. It's got a bunch of movies on there as well. They've newly launched um, apps that you can put on there as well. So you can have Netflix on there, you can have Spotify on there. So it's up to you what you want to do. You can record shows fast forward, rewind, whatever. But what I often do sometimes is actually use it as a form of break. So it's very important to take breaks uh, when you're working throughout the day by yourself, uh, working from home. If, even if it's not by yourself, uh, it's very good to take regular breaks. So sometimes I just take a back seat and uh, just watch something randomly. I just pick something random to watch on there. Or sometimes I watch something on Netflix uh, before I carry on working again. It's on the subscription service. So again, check the website to see which subscription works for you. They have like sports pack, entertainment pack and so on. So you can pick which one actually suits your lifestyle and what you enjoy watching on TV. Next is during this time of self-isolation, I've got more time in my hands uh, because I'm not traveling as I usually do, as much as I usually do. So now I've picked up the guitar and I'm learning how to play. And what I've got is a Fender Play uh, guitar from Fender. And with this uh, system, it's just an electric guitar that comes with an amp as well. So everything's all nice and set up for me. And also it comes with an app which you can use to learn different bits, learn how to play the guitar from beginner to all the way to becoming really good at it. So they teach you how to hold it, how to strum, uh, what the keys are, how to read music notes, which I'm finding very interesting uh, because when I was at school, I found it not so interesting for me to learn how to read music. I kind of just thought, mm, this looks complicated, but actually it's not as complicated as it seems. The tutors on there are very good as well, teaching you what to do, which I really like. Some of you might think, well, I don't want to pick up a guitar. That's not something I'm interested in. But the whole point of it is, Working from home, it's always nice to pick something else that you might be interested in, like a hobby or something new that you can learn and sort of sharpens your brain to keep learning new things. Uh, for some people, you might be able to pick up a book and read a book, uh, for example, which leads me on to the next product. Yeah, so the next product I use as well is my iPad Pro. So this is the previous ed edition generation, not the 2021 that just come out, which is more than enough for me. So it means I can be mobile. So if I don't want to sit in the office scenario or this space here to do some work. I can go in the balcony outside, uh, get a chair out, put my feet up and just get it out and just type away on there as well. Or sometimes I just use it to read books uh, or magazine or content. So you can subscribe to 
uh, News Plus on Apple uh, platform, iOS, uh, iPad OS platform. And on there you can read different magazines, you can keep up to date with your interests. So for example, I love travel, I love interior design and that kind of stuff. So I go on there and I read about these things just to sort of sharpen my brain as well. So as I said earlier, if you don't want to pick up a guitar, for example, it could be the thing that you pick up and use to like take a break and just sharpen your brain in other ways. Finally, I have my Google Home and Amazon Alexa system here. Uh, hopefully that doesn't pick up my voice. Nope, luckily they're on mute. Uh, sorry if I've set up your system at home, but basically I have these two systems. You might ask why I've got two of them, uh, separate system, but what I, talk, I tend to do is use my Google One for all my work related things. So to keep up with my reminders, to keep up with my schedule, uh, with what's, what I need to get done for the day. My to-do list is linked to my email, is linked, linked to my Google ecosystem. So that makes my life very easier in terms of staying professional and getting my work done. With my Alexa system, uh, what I tend to do with that one is uh, do more entertainment things. So if I want to listen to the latest news piece uh, in the kitchen, for example, or if I want to play music in the background, I use it for that. Uh, my system here is very good in terms of speaker. I've got the latest uh, Echo, um, sorry, Echo here, and I've got Echo Show in the kitchen, which I use when I'm cooking, for example. I might set a timer, I might get a recipe up, uh, I might do video calling on there as well to speak to my mum. Uh, so that's the kind of stuff that I use that for. So I kind of separate those two things. Uh, so I know what's going on. Also, I think my Google system's linked to my lighting as well. So I can use that to turn my TV on. I can use that to turn my light on, change the lighting system, all that kind of stuff. So that's why I keep them separate. But working from home is very important to still keep your schedule, keep track of things that you're doing, set reminders, all that kind of stuff. And that's what this is actually quite good for. You can use your voice and set um, reminders and so on. I was just looking over there because over there is my coffee machine as well. That's another thing I really like. So my coffee machine there is from DeLonghi. I did a video on that, which I'll leave in the description area as well. So do check it out. It's a La Specialista, if I'm saying that right. And uh, it's all about brewing your own coffee in the morning, getting that espresso or double espresso. Uh, you can even make uh, latte, flat white, whatever you want, you can make it on there as well. So it's all manual, which is pretty cool. And it's very nice. I just love the process of making and smelling that fresh, uh, smell of coffee in the morning. Uh, although I don't drink a lot of coffee recently, I've been drinking more tea, which you can still make tea with it as well. Uh, it dispenses hot water, put your tea bag in there and you're good to go. So that's it for the list of things that I use to make my working from home experience a lot better, a lot more comfortable for me, better for my productivity and my workflow. Uh, guys, if you have anything that you use, drop them in the comments below. If you find it useful, let me know as well. And uh, yeah, any questions, do let me know as well. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe if, you, if it's your first time on the channel and hit that bell notification as well. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys in the next one.